Hi everyone, Larry Graves here. Uh, I was thinking what video to do next on this channel, and at some point I want to talk about all of the jobs I've had in my life, because there's some s funny stories in there. But I thought, you know, for this ASMR channel, some of you might like me reminiscing, going through some old photos and just talking about them. I have this uh, old uh, photo album back, uh, this is from 19, at least ni eh, 1980, so a uh, boy time flies, 8, 9, 10, 10, man, this is almost 40 years old, I'm old, but uh, this is with my first wife Nancy, uh, she passed away from cancer when she was 40, in uh, 2004 and this is her uh, I love looking at old photos and and this is her with we had two sister cats and this is the heavier of the two sister cats and her name was Tuffy and she wasn't a Tuffy she was a sweet cat but there's my wife Nancy with Tuffy and that's I believe these are Polaroid pictures too and the quality is, you know, still surprisingly pre pretty good. I thought over time that uh, Polaroid pictures faded or something, but it looks pretty good to me. And, yeah, that was 19... I don't know, it was the early 80s, before we had... before we, before we were married. And this is my other cat, Misty, and she was uh, a sweet cat too, but she was very kind of like paranoid or whatever. A uh, bit of a scaredy cat, I guess you could say. Here is, <clears throat> excuse me, this is me. It's weird looking back at me because it's like a different person, really. This is me, and there's no date on this, but I, I would say it'd be about 80, 81. I was much skinnier back then. <clears throat> and this is an old, a really old picture of Nancy when she was just a little baby. And of course, the uh, this is. Nancy at two and a half years old, and the photo is almost completely ruined, but this is the way it was when she got it, but there it is. And I, I just want to say, these cats, there was a third cat that we had later on when we lived in this apartment here in Trenton, Ontario. And his name was Tiger, and he was such a beautiful cat. But not so much when, when he was a kid. Well, he was, he was cute. And, and what's sad, <clears throat> sad about this is uh, we had Tiger for two or three years. Became a pretty big cat. And when we moved, uh, my brother-in-law at the time was helping us move. And... Just, we lost the cat, and I kind of blame him for us losing the cat. We went back many times to the apartment, and we're never able to find Tiger, so I have no idea what happened to Tiger. So, kind of sad. Another picture of me holding Tuffy. And right now I'm remembering a funny story because they were indoor cats. We are <clears throat> we rented <clears throat> sorry. We rented an upstairs apartment of this house. And so to let the cats out for some fresh air, we would open the window and they would go up on the roof. And they were they're totally safe on the roof and they would go on the roof a little bit and then come back in after half an hour or whatever. But one time, uh in early spring, I don't know what happened, I think 
I don't know if I let the cat out on purpose or the cat just got out, but Tuffy, and Tuffy had a, was a pretty big cat and she had a big belly. And that all I remember seeing is Tuffy going outside and running down the street with her belly flopping in the air. And it was quite hilarious at the time. And I got the cat and she, she was safe. And this is Nancy with the guitar that I bought her. And, you know, she never did learn how to play it. And, uh, you know, so many things about my life. But at that time, I was working at Quaker Roads. I had started a job at Quaker Roads in Trenton, Ontario. And I worked there for a bit, and then I just quit. Uh, it, was, it was really, I, I thought that I could just easily get another job, and I was wrong. Uh, so that, you know, they're all uh, lessons in life. And we had to sell her guitar and sell other things. That There were a couple of days where we basically were starving to death. So, uh, look, there's the date right here. So this one is 1983. Married two days. June 20th, 1983. <laughs> this is me. Uh, calm down, ladies and guys. This is me with my shirt off. And I've always been, even though overall I'm in decent shape, I've always had issues with my uh, top half. Maybe my bottom half, too. I've always had issues with my top half because I've always had a bit of a beer belly. And even though I don't drink beer, and I'm fairly active, you know, but even back then when I was skinny, I still had a bit of a beer belly here. And <laughs> this looks like, uh, this almost looks like uh, I'm abusing the cat, but this is the way that cats would pick up their kittens, and I only held held uh, Tiger like that for a second just to get the photo, so she was fine. Or he was fine, I'm sorry. And a very cute picture of uh, Tiger. I guess she, she, he, I keep saying she, I guess he was even cute as a kitten, but I mean, he got cuter as he got older. And this is a really nice picture from 1980, April of 80. So I'm trying to think, this is before, I met Nancy in September of 1980, so this is before we, we met. We might have been writing, I'm not sure. I don't think we were even pen pals then. But she lived in Toronto. And this is her with a cousin and her mom. So that's that little album. I didn't show every picture. because Some of them are basically the same. But I might do this in two parts, even though... Uh... And this is my mom. My mom passed away when I was 18 years old, and so I've kept this little saying here. If you want to pause the video, you, you can read that. So that's one elb. And, uh, You know, one thing uh, I was also thinking of is people don't really have physical photographs like in the past. They don't have photo albums. Everything's on Facebook or on the computer. Kind of sad in a way. And here's, uh, so this box has more pictures, just more photographs from all different years. 
And this is, I think that, I don't know, I think that's Nancy sitting on the steps, but this is the house where those pictures are from, which is 123 Spring Street, very close to the Trenton Hospital here in Trenton, Ontario. And we lived up there. Yeah. And then there was another little apartment that uh, the downstairs people's grandfather lived in. This is me working at Marotta Erie in Trenton, Ontario in the mid 80s. Working, working one of the mills. And I worked there for 10 years. The plant closed in 1992, 1993. And that was a big shock, of course, because I thought I had a job there for life, but uh, yep, it closed. This is me uh, blowing up a mattress while camping. And of course, you know how much fun that can be. This is me. I look so happy. I was happy, but I, I guess I was trying to look cool or whatever. I don't know. But this is me with my dad uh, when I was getting married, my first marriage. And this is my dad later on. No date, so probably the in the 90s. Another picture of me at uh, Marotta Erie, looking very cool. This is me. It says January of 1963. So I would have been four years old, turning five soon. <laughs> On the back, I don't know when I wrote that, but it says, look at all the cocaine, mummy. There it goes. Look how sweet and innocent I used to be. And this is me with uh, my family and some cousins. I am the third person on the left, looking kind of obnoxious, I don't know why. Maybe because I was obnoxious. This is from 1978. Boy, oh boy. <laughs> and me making the silly face. Uh, I used to disc jockey in the uh, late 70s and in, into the 80s and early 90s, off and on. And this was my second partner, Kevin. We used to DJ quite a bit, and I'm making a funny face, or a silly face. And sadly, Kevin, I hadn't, you know, he moved to the States and whatever else later on. And then I looked up on the internet there, I think last year, and he had uh, been in a motorcycle accident and had passed away. So that was a big, big sad shock. Uh, this is me, November 1980. I went through a nerdy period, I'm telling you. Not too, not too nerdy there, but... And for those that follow me on my Canadian Stud Muffin channel, as you know, I'm a big fan of the band of the group Sparks, which is mainly two brothers, Ron and Russell Mail. I've been a fan since 1974, and I've got some of these rare uh, pictures that some fan sent to me years ago, and this is from 1982. There's Ron Mail. My sister Janet getting married. She passed away, sadly, in, uh, in the 80s.
really nice picture so far. There's a nice picture of Ron Mail. Look at that. The master for my comedy CD, Redneck Canadian, which you can listen to. I think it's it's on iTunes and it's all over the internet. But uh, yeah, there it is. That's the master. It was a, a CD I made with this really talented musician, Eric Myers. He did all of the music, and I just sang in a redneck Canadian kind of humorous voice. I, I wrote most of the lyrics, and uh, it's a fun time. This is me. I'm the smallest of uh, the group gathering here with all of my brothers and sisters and my mom and dad. About 1964. And like I said, I went through a, a, a nerdy period, and I went through periods where I think I look pretty damn good. And this is a good photo of me. This was probably after, because I, I never had any confidence in my looks. I didn't think I was ugly. I didn't think I was good looking. I just, nothing, right, really. like. <laughs> and I remember at the time, I was a security guard at Belleville General Hospital, and this one time these girls that were uh, being trained to be nurses, they saw me and they go, oh my God, you know, because I was 6'3 and all that. And they were just saying nice things. Oh, you're so cute or whatever. And that built up my confidence for a day or two. <clears throat> so there it is there. Here's my dad making a funny face. I don't know where I got my humor from. A very nice picture of Nancy with my sister Sharon. My uh, oldest son Ryan with me and my dad's bird, which he basically was the bird's mother uh, for a few months until he let it free. It's a, it's a long story. I'll tell it sometime. This is me with my dad. I don't love him, do I? This is my media pass when I went to Loyalist College for an advertising course, which I have a diploma for. I actually look like a criminal. This is me with my son Ryan. About 1980... 1985. 86. This is me, either looking stunned or attempting to be funny. This is me when I worked at Quinty Plastics, and that would have been about 1998 or so. This is me with my dog, Elmo. Excuse me. Now, I love dogs as much as cats. And uh, Elmo was a great dog. I really loved him. Very, very gentle dog. And as you can see, my mustache was a little darker than it is these days. I'm almost smiling, getting married. <laughs> this is, <laughs> I've posted this on my Facebook page. It's the wallpaper, the floor, the curtains, the very small bed. And believe it or not, when Nancy and I were first living together, we slept in this bed together. But I think this was before, oh, maybe she was there at that point. I, I'm not sure. And then, there it is. Gotta love that wallpaper. Very early in our relationship. And another picture of with my dog Elmo.
my uh, my dad and my stepmom, who is still alive. My my dad passed away. I always forget the date because it'd be. Uh, I think he passed away in two thousand and seven. I could be wrong. I think it's two thousand and seven. But my stepmom, who's in her nineties now, is still alive and kicking and doing doing very well. I visit her once in a while. Let's end this with one more, or one or a couple of. Amazing pictures, if I can find it. Now this is me later on in the 90s. Uh, we once again had two sister cats and I believe that's either Misty or Daisy. I think that might be Daisy because they look pretty identical. This is me working very hard at Marotta Erie. And one final picture. This is me, my one brother's missing from this photo. And we'll end this with a, pic a nice picture of me with my dad. Uh, Five years ago, I would say. In 2004. So that's it for now. I don't want to bore you to tears if anybody's watching, but if you enjoyed this, if I get enough comments, then I'll do a part two for this and hopefully find more interesting photos or interesting photos next time. Thank you for watching. Bye-bye.